Hi there, Gemini. Welcome. Well, this is the second half of August. Let's see what we have going on for you. Let's see. What does the universe wants to tell you? Let's see. Okay. We're starting out with the Six of Air, which is Six of Swords. So, the end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness, travel to or relocation. So you're moving on to something much better. Okay, and then we have the Two of Swords. This is being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem. Overanalyzing a solution. Okay. Well, you're moving on from something. You're, you're making a decision there. So maybe there's something else you have to decide on. And then we have the Page of Earth, Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotion, or scholarships. A new area of study. So something new is coming in for you. Also, be getting a gift, too, with the Page of Pentacles here. And we have... This is conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. Yes, this might be some kind of competition going on with you or something like that. Let's see him. See, why do we have this uh, page of earth, page of, um, yeah, page of pentacles? We have, okay, the, now this could be a, a partnership coming in for you. This could be a partnership coming in for life. It could be a love partnership. You might meet them at school or at work. But there is a new opportunity coming in. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Six of Swords here for Gemini? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ace of Earth. Ooh. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So you are going into something much better here. So money might be coming in, new opportunities, new job, new business. What about this Two of Swords? Why is that here? Why is the Two of Swords here, please? What's going on with that? We have the world, Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So yeah, so you're definitely moving away from something to something much better. You're still going to make a decision here. There's changes here. There's an ending from new beginning. So maybe you feel stuck, but it feels like, almost feels like you shouldn't be stuck. I don't know. I feel like you really know what you want. You're just not, you're not, you're not sure for some reason. Okay. Let's see. But you do have to make a decision and there is an end to something for something new to begin. So now why do we have the page of earth, the page of pentacles here? Sin, sin of fire. Oh my God. Six of fire, which is the six of wands. Victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. You could be getting awards for something in school or you, or at work. But there's something you're getting reward for. It's something, some kind of victory here. And then we have the Queen of Fire. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. I like this. And the Queen of Fire's Queen of Wands would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your energy being very inspired, very passionate. Yes, I like it. Okay, now. So what else we have going on here? I like this. This is really good. You're moving away from something to something much better. There's a lot of changes coming in for you. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Woo! Knight of Air. So we have decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. So you're definitely moving away from something. There's a lot of stuff going on. Let's get a charm for this one. Oh, my feathers are moving. Okay. Oh, we got the little strainer here. Okay. So you're going through things. You're straining things. You're you're sifting through things. You're you're making sure that. When you move on, you're not taking anything that you don't need with you. Or you're going through, maybe even trying to question things and trying to figure out the correct answers. There's something that you're trying to figure out. Oops, sorry. And we have here, 
the eight of swords, I'm not sorry, eight of cups, eight of water. So the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. You're definitely doing a lot of changing, a lot of moving on. This is the eight of cups walking away from something that doesn't serve you, that you're no longer content with or just not satisfying. Wow. You are moving. Let's see what else we have here. The wheel. Ha. Huh. A fresh new start at the end of delays, sudden unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. You're definitely traveling. Moving on, traveling. Are you seeing the world maybe? And then we have the sun at the bottom. Nice Leo energy. So this is a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphany that lead to a magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. Wow, there's a lot of happiness coming for you. I love this reading. Very positive. Okay, now what about this Knight of Swords? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I don't know if I said that. Oh, okay, we have the Emperor flipped over. You're taking your power back. This is Aries energy, but this is like organization and logic, structure and discipline. Leadership. Yeah, you might be in a leadership role. They're taking your power back. You're in control. You're, if you are, you might be getting a new position, but puts you in a better role here. Um, more responsibility. Okay, now why do we have the eight of cups here let's see four of water okay miss this feels like two isn't it no okay missing an opportunity and this says um discontentment or boredom open your eyes to the possible that's why you're moving away you're bored here you're, there's something that's just not fulfilling for you so you're, you're moving on makes perfect sense what about the wheel why is the wheel here King of Water. So this is King of Cups. That would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And we have trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. So things are changing. King of Water could be coming in with a love offer here. Someone that has a lot of emotions for you. And that you might not be expecting that. And we have here Page of Water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase. High, heightened psychic abilities. Okay. I'm not going to put a charm on that one, but I will put a charm on this one because it's on the board. Okay, the King of Water. Why do we have for King of Water? Let's get a charm. Oh, that's appropriate. We have a, okay, we have the whale tail. So someone might be spinning the hell of a whale tail here. I'm telling you a story here. Or this might be something, you're making a big splash or something. Or the tail end of something. You might be at the tail end of something. Take it how it resonates. Okay, let's get another one. Another row here. What else do we have going on with Gemini? Let's see. Okay, seven of cups, seven of water. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Two main options, addiction. So someone could be addicted to something, um, someone could be drinking, or someone have drug addiction, or any kind of addiction. There's something like too much, still of something. As it says, stop pro procrastinating. You have so much going on here. I don't really see how it's coming in. I think you have a lot of choices. There's going to be opportunities coming in for you. Let's see here. And we have here the Four of Earth. Four, four coins, four pentacles. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money. Time or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white. Being charitable. Sometimes this card is for someone that's holding on to something and doesn't want to let go either too. So we'll see when we clarify him. And then we have the Ace of Fire, the Ace of Wands, amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. Yeah. Okay. And on the bottom, we have the Ace of Earth, the Ace of Pentacles. A windfall, abundance, wise counsel. <coughs> Sorry, I got tickle. A good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases, like a home or a vehicle. 
Wow. You have a, definitely, there's a whole new start and a whole new beginning. Things are shifting and changing. I almost want to say like you're a mover and a shaker. Things are happening for you. Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Three of Earth. Okay. So here we have the power of creativity, recognition for a very high quality work. Be a team player. So you may have choices and job opportunities because you do very good work. You're focused. You, you pay attention to what you do here. And it's also saying that you're a team player. So you have options, choices. I like it. And this four of earth. What's that all about? We have the night of air. Okay. So the night of air we had in here. Now we have it again. So this is um, Gemini. This is Libra. This is um, Aquarius. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Create a solution. See, you got a lot of options coming in. These cards say, and there's stuff happening really quick for you. So be prepared. Things are going to take off here. Let's get a charm for the night of air on over here. Oh, we have the key. Here's a key to open something here. So let's let's try to put this together. We got managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give and receive money. And smart business decisions, making things, seeing things as black and white. This is someone holding on to something, holding back with this. But you're coming in here. I don't know. I almost feel like this is your energy. And this almost feels like someone else. I think someone's holding something back from you. Might be knowledge. I know I'm getting that. I'm getting knowledge or, or something here. Probably to do with business. They're not, you're just taking off. I don't, I, I feel like you're taking off here and someone's not. They could also be holding on to you as far as romance, too. But I feel like there's something to do with um, some kind of business or some kind of opportunity for someone here. Why do we have this um, Ace of Fire? So Ace of Wands. Ace of Waters. Wow, look at all these Aces. Okay, so we have the three Aces here. The Cups, the Pentacle, and the Wands. You're just missing the Ace of Swords. So, okay, so Ace of Water. So it's here. Fallen in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. A new home. Definitely, a lot of you guys are getting a new home. That came up here and that came up here. And there's new beginnings, a lot of new beginnings. This is love and passion. And it feels like you're going to have something that comes together here with someone that is going to be filled with a lot of love, a lot of passion, and also you're going to be financially stable. Wow. In the bottom deck, we have the Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Okay. You have achieved a lot here. So it's telling you to keep an eye and protect whatever you have already developed here. Now, let's see. What about this page of Pentacles, right? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Let's see the story on the Page of Pentacles. What's the scoop on this Page of Pentacles, please? Let's see. Accused. Surprise. Finances. Hmm. So someone accused someone of doing something with finances here. Maybe, you know, I almost feel like for someone, maybe this could be a child that didn't tell you they, they won the scholarship and they, then they surprise you with it. I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel bad. Whatever this surprise is, like surprise finances, accused, um, someone could have did something with finances that was not ethical here. But I almost feel like this, I mean, because you do have the six of fire. So I'm feeling like someone actually achieved a scholarship, or was able to obtain a scholarship and didn't tell their their parents about it and now they're telling them it and they're very surprised about it okay what about this knight of swords but take this how it resonates with you what about the knight of swords we have meeting sexual before hmm so maybe someone was sexual with someone before they met met someone else or um 
Yeah, because before, how would we put this? Before meeting their section? I don't know. That I keep on getting before meeting their section. Does that make sense to anyone? Before, <laughs> I don't know. Meeting sexual before? No. I don't know. I, if this makes any sense to you, please let me know. <laughs> it's confusing me. I don't want to stay on something. When I feel stuck, it's like it's not for me to know. It's for you guys to know. So I'm not going to pay, put any more time into it. I don't want to waste your time. Let's see. What about this King of Water? We have Memories, Player, Drama, Confused. Okay, this person might be coming back in. And you have memories with this person, and the memories are of them being a player with a lot of drama. So this is confusing you that they're coming back in. Especially like this Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. Why are they coming back in if they were a player and they confused you? And there's all this drama that came with them. So that's what I'm getting, but you guys could rearrange it how it makes sense to you. Um, what about this Knight of Air here? Why do we have this Knight of Air? Let's see. We have feelings eventually intruder okay so someone intruded in a connection and now someone has feelings for that intruder someone that came in in between you and someone else whether it's for you or for your person and now there's feelings there again take it how it resonates if it even resonates maybe it won't resonate with you now let's see what signs we have what are the signs here for Gemini what are the signs please we have Pisces. Wait, I just... We have the Ace of Earth here too? Oh, one, two. We have four Aces. Wow. I just was looking on there. So that says Ace. Yes. Four Aces. A lot of new beginnings for you. Okay, we have Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, these two came together. I'm taking Libra, Leo. Cancer, you have all the water signs. Because we have the nice big old king of water there. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Okay, so these could be placed in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. I don't know why I said Aquarius before Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do the letters. So we'll do 11 letters. And this will be for initials for first name, last name. And then if you get both the first and last, you know someone's middle name, you get that all the better. And then also on past, present, future, and your own initials. Let's see what we have here. J, Z, L, I, O, P, A, B, T D and K. Okay, so letters we have for you today are J Z L I O P A B T D K. Now for the names. What names? Oop, Gemini, they're jumping out. Okay, Laura and Laura and Kayla, oh, two belt on my floor here. We have Lori and Stavian, S T A I V E N. Okay, that's four. Boy, they were anxious to come see you. All right, we're jumping for joy. I want to see Gemini. Let's see here. Well, I got more than enough, I think. Okay, let me move these up a little bit. We have Anthony, Kirstein, K I R S T E E N, Dory, Andrea, A N D R E A, Elizabeth, Surdy, C E R D Y, Teresa, T E R E S A, Martina, and Susan, boy, you bought, got a bunch of females this time. Okay, so. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. So there's 13, right? Yeah, 13. Okay. I did say Martina, right? Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Please leave comments. Please let me know if anything does resonate. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.